Look, we've all picked up a few diseases from festivals before. I know I have. Uh, but it turns out that now you can even get them from wristies. Yeah, wristbands from festivals. It uh, turns out they're a hot bed of filth. Daniel, um, Triple J listener, has sent us in his festival wristbands from Splendor 2016, Groove in 2010, Falls 2009. Hi, Dr. Nick. Hi, everybody. Yeah, thank you very much. He did it. So we've got three festival wristbands here. Oh, this oh. one. Oh. How did that even <laughs> stay on his wrist? And we also have the one on Veronica's wrist, which she just put on about an hour ago, yeah. just as like a, a fresh one. What do you imagine is like a, a worst case scenario for one of these? Worst case scenario, will they, they will be loaded with bacteria and that those bacteria will be of a type that's dangerous to human health, like golden staff, for example. You may also expect to find some coliforms there, like E. coli, depending on the personal hygiene of the people who wore the wristbands. All right, so what are we going to do here? We're going to take the wristband, we're going to put it into this diluent. It looks like it's a tail of a rat or something. We're going to vortex it, which is just shake it around a heap, and that will dislodge the bacteria from the wristband into the liquid. We'll then make some dilutions of this liquid. With those dilutions, we'll then plate them out onto these agar plates. So these are now ready to go in the incubator and we'll leave those to cook for a couple days and we'll see what grows. So we've got our plates here and as you can see, they've grown a lot of bacteria. Um, Veronica, yours was by far the most disgusting. <laughs> Just jokes. Oh. It's all right. No, your one wasn't too bad. Oh, boy. What can we see here? What's going on? We've got a wealth of different bacteria coming up there. Oh. Mostly these yellow ones, the light yellows, I think that's Micrococcus. So that guy's not particularly harmful. There's some other guys here, like these white spreading ones. That's probably Bacillus, which is a soil organism. So these wristbands have just picked up junk from the environment as well as flora from our bodies. But you can also see some more kind of orangey oh. golden ones. So that could be golden staph. And that one can cause wound infections, boils, impetigo, food poisoning, a range of conditions. What's really cool on this plate though, is we've actually isolated a bacteria that makes antibiotics. See that guy, how there's nothing growing right next to it. So this one's actually making something that's killing the other bacteria. Oh my oh, so nice. this is this is how antibiotics are discovered. So that's a pretty cool little accidental finding. So he's started some sort of war of colonies on his wrist. Yeah. <laughs> Lastly, we have our 2016 wristbands. This is only worn for a few hours, is that right? Oh, honestly, I'm disappointed I have any bacteria on it. <laughs> you can't avoid them, you're gonna have some. So with your one, we've seen our um, sort of bright yellows, which are Micrococcus. We're seeing some white ones, which are probably Staph epidermidis. When you work with bacteria a lot, they become very much like your pets and you have to look after them and feed them and not let them get too old. Like a Tamagotchi or something. <laughs> very much like a Tamagotchi, yeah. Having looked at this now, how would you feel about telling people to keep their festival wristbands on? Oh. I mean, we can't say for sure that these are dangerous bacteria, but the numbers are so high that I would advise people against doing this and cut wearing them for years and years and years. Yeah, put it like cut it off, put it in a little scrapbook or something. You don't need to keep wearing it to have the memories, I don't think. <laughs>